a what I like to call a 75% vegan diet. Something in a top. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. It is so good. You can hear the rain. It's raining pretty aggressively. No, not like not like aggressive, but like getting there. 835. Monday. <laughs> so cold, but I can't not go grocery shopping. Like, Monday is my day to grocery shop. I have to go grocery shop. So, that's where we're going. First Duncan, Abby. And it's gonna be exciting because today is the first day of our vegan diet. We're doing a what I like to call a 75% vegan diet where we're going all vegan except for chicken, eggs, and a limited amount of cheese. Other than that, Everything else should be vegan, I think. To get away from really, really super highly processed foods. And so that's the point. And so I feel like vegan is the easiest way to do that because it takes all of that away. I've got quite the list. <laughs> and it's all very healthy. <laughs> and I'm gonna take you through this week doing this together and we're gonna see if we make it through. With that note, let's go get Dunkin' and get started shopping for a healthier lifestyle. <laughs> okay, I just got done in Trader Joe's. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> Look at my hands. I think honestly that's the longest time I've ever spent in Trader Joe's at a whopping 25 minutes. I'm usually so quick, but since I was getting such new things, it was a little bit different. Spending $62, which is much more than I thought it was going to be just because I'm getting all my fruit and meat from sam's club also i got kind of a lot of basics like i got i already have tofu in the fridge but i bought even more tofu and then i bought some quinoa and some olive oil because i was out it probably won't be that expensive every week i think 62.90 is the price i spent so yeah and then this weekend <laughs> you know crazy saturday i went to costco and sam's club and i price compared compared prices on fruit and meat and sam's club came out cheaper so that's where i'm gonna go and then i'll probably stop in target because they have my favorite vegan cookies the refrigerator section has been shut down for two weeks now and i don't know why so i'm hoping they have cookies this week so that's where i'm headed these are my groceries okay i went to target and i got chickpeas some vegan cookies are my favorite cookies actually before we even decide to go vegan they're my favorite and some tortillas that were incredibly expensive which is unfortunate so i'm going to see if they're cheaper at sam's club so for next time i can plan that better i'm sitting outside of sam's because it's 9 50 and i do not have the plus membership so the club doesn't open until 10 and i'm new to sam's i just got sam's like last week so i don't know if they're like lenient on that but i'm gonna get a two shoes so i'm gonna assume they are so i'm gonna stay here for nine more minutes and then we're gonna we're gonna go and get some fruit and also stock up on my favorite caffeinated beverages for the morning Four stores later and I am finally done. It is 10.30. Man, I am exhausted. That was a lot of shopping. Definitely went over budget, but that's okay. I need to get a lot of like basics. Okay, I'm, I'm off. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a speed round haul because there is a lot. Okay. Kale, broccoli, cauliflower, limes, Spinach, strawberries, and grapes. Sourdough bread. Five pounds of chicken. Um, organic brown rice cake thins. Jicama, jicama wraps. Pita. Garlic olive oil. Chickpeas and peas. Almond milk, vegetable broth. Quinoa. Spinach herb tortillas that were six dollars. Sweet potatoes. Normal potatoes. Bananas. Two kinds of tofu. Creamy cashew yogurt alternative. Dairy-free borsen and cheese. Vegan pesto. The best vegan cookies in the world. So much garlic. Rotisserie chicken. Eggs. Celery sticks. Apples. Pineapple. Bars. And a 
good old stockpile of my favorite caffeinated beverage. That's the grocery haul. I went to Trader Joe's, Target, Stu Leonard's, and Sam's Club. Just kidding, I found more. <laughs> Raspberries, blueberries, and carrots. Now that's it. I just cut up and washed all this fruit good and then this is the leftovers like the the ones that were a little too squishy or a little too bruised that i'm gonna save for juicing so we do not waste them and we get some yummy juice out of it all i have left to cut up is the pineapple and then the fruit will be prepped If you've ever seen something so beautiful, oh my god. It's snowing. It's snowing like crazy, but it's not sticking because it's like two degrees too warm, which is so annoying. But at least it's very, very pretty. The flurries are huge. It's a nice little like background ambiance for cutting fruit. <laughs> Tuesday. It is just a little bit after 12. Very cold out. Snow was melting, so I figured it was a good time to go out. Damn it, I forgot my ring. I wish you could have seen what just happened. I'm on my oh my god, stop! I'm on my way to go thrifting. I'm gonna do a few rounds because I went to a Goodwill this weekend and I haven't been to a Goodwill in a in a little bit, at least for clothes, and my mind was blown. Things were color coordinated, you know, there were sale, I, my mind was blown. So I'm gonna go down to Plato's Closet, just because sometimes it's nice to look through there, and they actually have some pretty decent prices, and then there's a Goodwill over there, and then I'm gonna go to a, another Goodwill. That's what we're gonna do, because it's supposed to snow again tomorrow, I don't know. I feel like I want to set like a thrifting day and I think I want that to be Tuesdays. I'm gonna let this man finish walking behind me so I can back up and then we are gonna get going. Okay, our first stop is Plato's Closet. I like to come here because, I don't know, things are like a more modern fit than you find at thrift stores because it's all like kind of newish. So I like to look here for dresses and basics and things like that. Not trendy things because I'm trying to stay away from trendy things but let's go see what we can find. It was weirdly chaotic in there. There was just like a child just like pulling clothes off the hangers. So you were like having to like step over clothes. But I did find this cute little set for $13. So these are the shorts. Top. I'm gonna head to Goodwill now and then we'll go from there. Okay, I'm at the next consignment place because it's on the way to the other Goodwill. And that Goodwill, I just was not, no, the vibes were not it. Like sometimes when you go into a thrift store, especially 
when you don't go at opening, which is when I like to go, the vibes are just off. The people are pushy. The resellers are like there to like defeat you. And I already don't like that Goodwill just because of how dark it is. And I was just like, no, there are no good vibes here. But I did get two things and they were both green stickers, which was 50% off. So I got this little cute cardigan. It is a large, but it's a petite large and also it's old, so sizing was different. And I want to add a button. And then I got this really cool retro Patago or LL Bean jacket. It's really cool. I like it. I vibe with it. So I'm going to go into this. This one is always really chill. I think it's catered to like the older woman. I'm going to go in here and see if there's anything and also just use it as like a detox because whew. So what I'm doing right now is going through all the clothes I have recently thrifted and I'm going through and I'm writing down the price because it's it's time to wash them and I want to do a try on haul but I want to wash them before I do that so I'm going through to write down the prices because I want to share the prices when I do this I finished writing down all the prices now I am washing them and hopefully not screwing them up um I just did a quick clean of the bedroom i don't know if you could see what it looked like before but it was terrible and i was literally like that'll be my project tomorrow and then like something came over me and i just couldn't stop and i just kept cleaning and cleaning and cleaning so it's clean it's vacuumed right now i'm about to reorganize the storage closet that i eventually want to put shelves in because the appliances that i want to put in there won't fit right now and they were on the floor but they were scaring my dog where he literally would not walk over here so now they're in the bathroom slash laundry room so i cannot do anything in there easily so yeah okay 